Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm coming to you from the edge of Ship Creek here in uh, the Jack Hernandez uh, fish hatchery. Seeing if I can find any early season ducks today. Uh, so far I've found a couple mergansers and I uh, was hoping for uh, harlequin ducks, but so far I haven't found any. Anyway, that's not even what this video is about. This video is about uh, doll sheep. Um, so in the fall, I was out running around like we'd normally do in the fall, looking for the sheep in the rut. And I found several, uh, quite a few males and a few females uh, on the side of a hill. Normally you can get a little closer to them, but this day I just couldn't get that close. So it's more of a behavioral video as opposed to a uh, photography video this time. Uh, the reason is they were just a little too far out. So that leads to the discussion about uh, extenders. So. On this day, I'm using a two times extender with the 500 prime to get me out a thousand millimeters. Now, that's great for video, but uh, the problem is, as you get out to those distances when the animals were way away from you, you get atmospheric conditions. And with those atmospheric conditions, just like you see, like in the desert, the heat haze, little warble you see, that exists even in the cold. Uh, there's a difference in temperature between you and your subject at all times. Uh, so, that could be from your own body, that could be from a vehicle, it could be from something different downdraft, updraft, whatever, but all those temperature changes come. The farther you get away from your lens, the more distortion you're going to get. So if you ever shoot a long distance, what you notice, your images are just soft. And that's what would happen on this day. But I wanted to capture those dull sheep and, and their behavior. And I did get a few decent pictures out of the deal, but, uh, but anyway, the times you want to use your extender is when the subject is closer to you, minimizing the amount of atmospheric problems you got. Like a duck or something, you want to get it closer to you, but you're not that far away. Um, and in those cases, use the extender. Uh, they're pretty good. But at a long distance, soft images. And you'll even see in this video, you'll see at times where you can notice even the sheep it kind of gets a little warbly just from the amount of heat or cold whatever different change in air is there that causes the image to just kind of warp out or get a little soft but anyway uh a video is coming up now and uh I'll let you see it and i hope you enjoy it i'll talk to you here a bit
Well guys, uh, thanks for watching the video today. Uh, I had a lot of fun watching those sheep and uh, I'm glad I was able to capture it just to show you guys what it looks like when they're, the rams are chasing the ewes around the hill and how the most of their behavior is not really headbutting, it's more kicking and kind of pushing and you know kind of just asserting dominance to the other rams and a few times in that video you'll see one ram run and then another ram run him off and then take over on the chase and uh but again they weren't receptive the ewes were that anyway anyway i did get a couple good pictures out of this deal so i'll run those for you now and uh, until the next time guys you take care and i'll see you soon Thank you.